Hey, what is up fam? Today we're gonna be talking about some of the practicals on how to research and find gems before anybody else. And our track record has been pretty good. We've been finding uh, games and some NFT projects before Beckard has, uh, JNR Crypto, Kaki, Jake, so you don't wanna miss this one. Uh, before you watch this one though, I do have a game report type of lessons for security. And so lesson one was all about kind of the macro. Lesson two is all about security. And instead of me just making a video on security, there's actually a lot of people that have done amazing coverage on it already and can do a lot better job than I have. So what I did was I actually collected a whole bunch of uh, videos for you guys to watch. Lesson two here is how to protect your crypto assets and avoid scams. Before you watch this video um, or before you join the Discord, you're gonna have to watch this one, okay? You need to learn how to protect your crypto assets and avoid some of these scams that are are, have been kind of just rampant in the space that we live in just because it's super unregulated. No one's going to give you your money back. So when it comes to a, a perfect target for scammers, it is us. Okay. So without further ado, though, let's get into the practicals and the five methods that I use to be able to kind of get ahead of the pack to learn about crypto gems or to learn about gaming NFTs before everybody else. Okay. First one is going to be NFTs. And so uh, when it comes to, uh, I mean, not NFTs, uh, Twitter. And so you have somebody that like a big influencer that is in the space. So like Alex Becker, for example, what you're going to do here is you're going to go to in.hootsuite. You're going to type in CZS Becker's name. Um, I just put it here because it takes a little bit while uh, to be able to kind of uh, load. And you're going to kind of, after you go to this one, you're going to type in his name. It's going to load this page. And this page has kind of just some of the uh, analysis who kind of uh, Becker talks to the most. And then once you, what I want you to do is click on this follow button. What this follow button does, it brings you to a page like this. Twitter's API has shown you that like you're not able to uh, go into uh, a Twitter feed. Let's go to Becker's one, for example. You can't, sorry, not followers, uh, people that he's followed. This is not in chronological order. What uh, the in.hootsuite does is actually put it in a chronological order. So he actually followed Candace Owen the most re recently, and then he's also been following these ones, right? And so now when it comes to researching, you're going to want to go into these. Let's go to uh, Engine Starter, right? So let's just go to Engine Starter, for example. Blockchain games in the metaverse. And so from here, you'll go into a more of the information and what they do. And so just start reading about it and start going into more research. This is what you're going to do. And then if you're part of the Discord, hey, report back to us uh, and make sure that you're sharing uh, with the group. The other thing is going to be Crunchbase. So one of the uh, people that occupy this gaming space, not just influencers, are these people uh, that have a lot of money. And they're called venture capitalists or the people that have just like uh, just whales in some sense. And so what you're going to want to do uh, is like follow one of these big brands. So Animico Brands, for example, they are a reputable company that backs a lot of these crypto video games and they pretty much fund anybody and everybody. But let's just go... Let's go to the organizations using Crunchbase. And so this is crunchbase.com, free site you can go to. So once you type in uh, in the search function of Crunchbase, Animico Brands, you can do it at the top right. Just do it again so you can see it. Animico Brands, you'll get, you'll get taken to this page. You're going to be taken to this page. And then from this page, you can see uh, investments, exits, acquisitions. So you want to go to investments. So on October 11th, they invested in D-Horizon, cutting a new de decentralized horizon. And so from here, if you want to kind of uh, research into that company, you would go to here and then you would go to their website. And then here it says, with rapid growth of crypto space, play to earn is no longer a uh, mere slogan, but has a fully come into reality. But a common defect in GameFi marketplace is a lack of metaverse game ecosystem to develop. We're still in the early stage of the evolution of GameFi for this next stage of metaverse uh, game ecosystem is essential to make DeFi go further. So now this is what you would do, right? You would kind of go into the, the research aspect of this. Do not just ape into this just because you found something that nobody else found or you found it on uh, a website that nobody uses. Like that's dumb of you, right? So make sure that you go in and you you research and you get into the light paper, right? The light paper is a is a uh, smaller version from the white paper. So it's it's something that just gives you a broad overview of understanding. And this is just step one, read everything, Go into it, and we'll talk more about that a little bit later. Next uh, tool that I use is the Coin Market Cal. Coin Market Cal kind of puts everything into perspective of, of release dates and major catalysts. And sometimes, uh, you know, using the Twitter or uh, Crunchbase, 
there are games or opportunities that fall through the cracks and that uh, coin market cal picks, picks up. And so you, this is not just a, um, a gaming NFT or blockchain gaming uh, calendar. This is actually has everything. So if you're actually interested in like Chainlink, there's actually a, a, a catalyst here, 14 October, 2021, community Q&A with Soja. Okay, so that's not really a big catalyst, but you know what I'm saying. Um, and so there are these uh, different types of uh, major events that are happening and then you can kind of search through them to see if there's any gaming ones. So there is a search function. I haven't actually seen that it'd be very good, to be honest. Um, so you can search uh, game, for example, and see what pops up. So uh, Poker City, NFT game release, NFT game beta, Starship. Um, and so this is a good for you to kind of see what upcoming catalysts are coming and possibly invest into those games before a major catalyst. So this will be good for swing traders, or let's say that you don't, and you haven't heard of that game before, you can do further research and see if you want to invest in further. Okay, uh, fourth is going to be Discord. And if you are not in a Discord, or if you're not in a Telegram for some of these uh, major games, uh, you're doing it wrong. So like there's Altered State Machine and there's doing Ask Me Anything. So when it comes to where like real alpha happens and like information that is current um, and that you can actually talk to some of the devs, this is where you want to be. And so if you're not in Discord or you don't have that app installed, like you need to get it installed and you need to start uh, really start networking with these people. So like Citus NFT Heroes, right? No one knows this is a game. No one knows this is a game. The only reason why our Discord knows about it is because we went into the dang Clubhouse app that was offered on Discord. Super dumb that they, you know, did that in terms of the uh, uh, marketing of it. And it was also launched during Sevens and, and the Galaxy Eggs. But at the same time, too, their marketing is getting better. There's going to be a new release on the 18th and all that kind of stuff. So when it comes to the, the uh, information that other people don't have, you want to be able to get into these discords, ask questions, talk to some of these moderators, some of these command controls, these space commanders, maybe even the CEO. And that's how we got in touch with him and, and asked him all these questions. And he proved it like to us all the tests that he knows what he's doing uh, and he's going to do right by the project. Okay, so that's number four. And then number five is going to be a, uh, a search function when it comes to uh, jobs. So one thing about like indeed.com or uh, like LinkedIn jobs or anything like that or, or um, uh, Glassdoor, there are jobs available. And how are you supposed to find like good talent, right? You could definitely like find and go to a college or, or find directly to somebody if they have a connection. But a lot of people put up jobs for people to apply. And so what we can do as investors or, or people who are trying to get ahead of the pack, we can actually not pose yourself as it, but you can look at some of the jobs that are available for a specific game, right? So you have blockchain game developer. That's what I typed into the search function. And uh, I found actually one that I had uh, seems really exciting, uh, which is a full stack solidity developer, which is probably built on the Ethereum blockchain. It's called Attack Wagon Games. And Attack Wagon Games, what you would do is you just uh, do a little Google search on Attack Wagon Games. And then from here, you're going to kind of see what's available, right? So Attack Wagon Game, and this looks amazing, right? I joined their Discord. There's only 400 members left. So this is actually like extreme alpha to be able to kind of track it, you know, massage the developers, make sure that like they understand like, hey, I'm a reporter. I would love to cover your project. And once you, the earliest you are in a project and the more that you talk with some of the developers and that you're actually somebody that's going to be st sticking here for the long haul, the more they'll give you time to be able to answer questions uh, that you want to have uh, when it comes to reading their white paper and all that kind of stuff. Because you were there early, they have a special place in their heart for you uh, before like they were well known, right? So that's also part of the positioning that we want to do as a Cyberwolves and our Discord. Now, those are the five. So you can kind of go through uh, the uh, specific jobs here and see if any of them are like well, uh, people that you don't uh, know, right? Mythical Games is the one that did uh, Blocktopia, Block Party. Uh, so you could see what they're developing. And, and this also goes on to further on research when it comes to reporting uh, that you can get better at. So number one, Twitter and marriage with that with in.hootsui. And then you have the crunch base, kind of understanding what those venture capitalists are investing into, the acquisitions that they're doing. It's very important to kind of keep up to date with those. Uh, Coin market cow. So just to see the major catalysts uh, and then maybe add it to your own calendar that maybe you're tracking. 
And then Discord, that's number four. Very important that you get in there, ask questions, uh, be engaging in the network and, and the community. And lastly, Indeed.com or any job searching, you can just Google like blockchain developer jobs or blockchain game developer jobs or whatever and see where it leads to, right? And so that is it. Those are the five that I use and that has been extremely beneficial for our Discord group. And if you're interested in joining our group, we have two more lessons after this uh, to, to help you really kind of get to where a lot of us are in the Discord. And then from there, if you still want in on the Discord, you're in, okay? So as always though, love you guys, believe in you, peace.